All right, guys, please solve this next question from CAD 2021 and then we'll discuss. Okay, guys, now the general method of solving such questions is to basically observe a recursive pattern. Like, for example, in this question, we have x of 0 is equal to 1, right? And x1 is equal to 2. Now, in this entire regular equation, if I put n is equal to 0, I will get x2 is equal to 1 plus x1 upon x0. That gives a value of x2 as 1 plus x1. That's uh, 2 upon 1, that's 3. Or x2 is equal to 3. Similarly, x3 can be found as 1 plus x2 divided by x1. So x3 will be 1 plus x2 is 3. 1 plus 3 upon x1 is 2. So x3 will again be equal to 2. From here, you can calculate x4. 1 plus x3 divided by x2. So x4 is 1 plus x3 is equal to 2. x2 is 3. 1 plus 2 upon 3 is 1. So x4 is equal to 1. Okay. Similarly, now you can calculate x5. x5 is 1 plus x4 upon x3. So x5 will be equal to x4. That's 1. x3 is again 2, 1 plus 1 upon 2 is basically 1. Now you calculate x6. x6 will be 1 plus x5 upon x4. x6 will be equal to 1 plus 1 upon x4 is 1. So x6 will be equal to 2. Let's calculate x7. x7 is 1 plus x6 upon x5. That will be 1 plus x6 is 2 upon x5 is 1. That's 3. Okay. x7 is simply equal to 3. So now we have a very clear pattern, guys. Okay, x0 to x4, the values start repeating, okay, from x5 onwards. So basically, x0 is equal to x5, will be basically equal to x10, okay, will be same as x15, right? Same way, x1 will be equal to x6, will be equal to x11, will be equal to x16, so on and so forth. So it's, it's kind of cyclic in nature, okay? So from x0, x5, x10, x15, every multiple of 5, the value is same as x0 only. So basically x 2020 will be same as x0, which is 1. So x 2021 will simply be equal to x of 1, which is 2. The answer to your question thereby is very simply equal to option D, 2.